Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Morning of the finals, I knew it was a big day. I was just feeling pretty relaxed with everything that was on the line. When I woke up, I was like, okay, today is the day. I was ready for the battle, and as much as I could, I tried to avoid thinking about the overall. I was just really eager to think about that race, that run. The practice runs didn't go as planned at all. The first one, I exploded my back wheel. Normally, I always do two runs before finals, and I could fit three runs because of that. And then I was pushing a lot more than the days before, and I missed a lot of lines, and I just couldn't figure out what pace to do. Obviously, the fast, fast pace was not good because I was not able to stay on track. And when practice finished, I was like, I'm not ready. Wait, I need more time. And I started to realize maybe I was not good enough I really forced myself to stay in a positive mindset and to stay calm and confident on my ability to do it. But it was hard. The problem was coming into the last race, I didn't want to say goodbye to that number one. I didn't want to hear anything about points, anything about Monsantan, it was over already. I wanted to be living the moment and doing it as spontaneously as possible without any thoughts. The stress started to be really high. Some people told me, ah, the line's here, did you try this one? And I didn't try that line. There's so many things I didn't feel good on. So I tried to forget all of that messy thoughts in my head and focus on on what I could do and how I could do it, and I felt not ready. Last minute, I was like, I'm not ready. Hello and welcome to the USA and to the finals of this year's Mercedes-Benz UCI Downhill World Cup. After seven gruelling races crisscrossing Europe, Snowshoe Mountain here in West Virginia plays host to a massive duel between two Gallic protagonists. Amory Piron and Louis Bruni have won every race but one this year between them. Fast, fearless and French, who will come out on top and who will leave here as the World Cup champion? Amory Piron in the start half, the defending World Cup champion from 2018. Are we in for some Piron magic again here today? Lost out the World Championship last week, he's going to want a title this year. And remember, if he wins today, Bruni needs a top three finish. This is unbelievable from the inspired Frenchman wow. yet again. No mistakes so far. Oh, what? 3.6 seconds up. Well, Piron is laying down another one. It is a massive run from the defending World Cup champion. He is going to go fastest. Piron, over five seconds into the green. <laughs> of 304. Can Louis Bruni get anywhere near that? Today. He has to! I didn't want to hear Amoris time at the top. I want to know nothing. Well, I thought we might see something special from this man today. And Whoa! he's only one Look point how close. One, three off. Oh, Charlie Harrison then charging here. It's going to be close. He goes across the line. Oh, just point three of a second off. Charlie Harrison with an amazing result. In the gate, I really felt like I had nothing to lose. 
I just told myself, do Loic. Do what you know. Do as you know. The reigning world champion, a man who has won four of the five last world championships with Danny Hart left at the top. And Piron in the number one seat then. The world champion on track then, this is it. This is the battle for the overall. It comes down to this run and this man, Louis Bruni. He is attacking. He's got to. 1.5 back now. Oh, wow, Bruni. Bits of rock flood. He is letting it all hang out here. Here comes Louis Bruni then. Is he sprinting towards his first overall World Cup title? He goes into third place. So it comes down to Danny Hart. It comes down to Danny. I can't believe it. Tense times for the world champion. Those eyes say it all, dude. I was just looking at the track, being mad at myself, and looking at Danny and wishing everything but him being between Amori and I. And now it comes down to this man. Second time he's been the fastest qualifier this year. Can he do it today? Can he end Bruni's dream of his first overall World Cup win? Bruni not taking his goggles off. Oh, within a second then. Which is enough to stop Bruni taking it. Zero point within nine. a second, he is within a second. If he stays on this pace, the World Cup overall title is going to go back to Amory Piron. And I think Bruni knows what's about to happen. Oh, oh yeah. That was enough. I've done it. Look at the time! 0.7 of a second! No way! Danny Hart takes the win! <laughs> and Bruni <laughs> takes the overall! Bruni is your world champion, your overall World Cup winner for 2019! He's done the double! When I started to understand that I actually won the overall, I just exploded. It was crazy the amount of emotion I just felt. Most of my friends, my team were there and I was just like, the thing we've been chasing for years, I just like, this is too good, I don't deserve it. I looked at Amori, Amori was gutted of course. I just felt kind of unfair. All year he was there and I was like, Amori, I don't deserve it more than you. The maturity year, I would say, like uh, finally I got some consistency and uh, and so many good times and yeah, solid, just solid. It was so good. No, like, thank you very much. Well done. Congratulations again. Thank you, everyone. It was crazy. This season has been, I think, by far the best I've ever had. And one of the reasons is that I surprised myself every round for finding the weaknesses and finding solutions. Also, be able to be there many, many times in a year without cracking. The consistency I've had was unreal and for the future, that's good.
just blew. Blow it. It's hard. Yeah. I've always said in interviews and in my life that the best rider of a year is the one winning the overall because of the consistency and I think it's the biggest achievement for me. I've been always seen, I think, as the one-day guy, one race, the one shot. Taking everything of life into consideration, it's the first year I can feel that I'm using the experience I've been having all these past years. I impressed myself and I was really proud of what the team and I did. And also of the way I could give back to the, to the staff. All the things they do is crazy. They have they put so much work into the team and, and the races. And I've been in the past messing it up with crashes and stuff. And finally, I give them back what they work for. And yeah, it's a team effort for sure.